okay users of inert gas uh, and you need to memorize uh, all these users users of inert gas okay the first one is helium okay helium is used in the airship okay uh, why because uh, it's less dense than air okay less dense than air then it can make this airship uh, flood on the air uh, floods in the air and then it doesn't burn in air like uh, unlike hydrogens uh, hydrogens Helium is one of the noble gas, okay? We call it noble gas or inert gas. So helium is used in airship, okay? Because we have uh, six noble gases, six noble gases. So helium is the first one, okay? It's used in uh, airship because it's less dense and it doesn't burn in air, okay? Hydrogen is also less dense than air, eh? okay? But uh, we do not use hydrogens because hydrogens, uh, uh, it can burn in air and uh, it can explode. Yeah, so it's very dangerous. Huh? Okay, so that's why we use helium in airship. Okay, and uh, it's also used in a uh, deep sea diving uh, to fill this oxygen tank. Okay, oxygen tank. So we fill it with helium. Huh? Now in air, in air there are seventy eight percent of nitrogens. Huh? Seventy eight percent of nitrogens, and then it's about eighteen percent of uh, oxygens. Okay, now. Um, in this oxygen tank, you cannot use 100% oxygen, eh? okay? You cannot use 100% oxygen, so you must use about 18% uh, 18, uh, 18 oxygen, okay? And the others, eh? uh, in air is a nitrogen, eh? but we do not use nitrogen, eh? okay? Uh, but we use helium, okay? That is because uh, uh, when you dive into the sea, okay, the pressure is very high, and then it will force the nitrogen to solubles in your blood. Uh, so to prevent this, then so we use helium because the solubilities of helium is very low. Okay, so it will not dissolve in the blood even though the pressures of the surrounding is very high. Okay, so helium is used in a uh, deep sea diving eh, to fill the oxygen tank. Uh, for neon, okay, neon is used in uh, this uh, neon bulb. Eh? Okay, neon bulb. Okay, in uh, advertising and uh, fluorescent light. Okay, neons. Uh, that is the use. Argon is used in a filament bulb. Okay, filament bulb. Uh, that is to protect the metal filaments. Eh? Okay, to protect the metal filament because uh, the temperature is very high, so the metal can uh, uh, oxidize easily if in contact with oxygen. So, so therefore we fill it with argon. Eh? And argon uh, is argon is very uh stable chemically very stable so it will not react with these filaments even though at a very high temperature okay and it, it can also reduce the evaporations of the metal filaments eh? okay it will it will not burns uh and then it will not burns the filaments and uh, can uh, reduces the evaporations of the metal filaments okay that is the use of uh, argon in filament but uh, for some of the bubs eh? They just color the glass. They color the glass. So it, it, there, there are still filaments uh, bubbed, but just with a uh, color glass. So it depends actually. It depends if it's if it's neon bubbed, then uh, they use neon again. Okay? But if it's a uh, filament bubbed with uh, just color glass, eh? the color glass, and then they are still using argon. So used in a fire extinguisher. So this can avoid uh, damage to the equipment and uh, also use in welding because weldings are uh, the temperature is very high okay uh, so it can reduces uh, the formations of the oxide uh, brittle oxide okay krypton krypton is used in a laser beam okay and then is used in a flash bulb okay and also used in a fluorescent bulb Sinon also the same, okay? Sinon also the same, used in laser, flash bulbs, and uh, fluorescent bulb. Radon, sir. Radon is, uh, is radioactive, okay? It's a radioactive source, eh? so, so it is used in uh, radiotherapy. Yeah? In radiotherapy, it's used to kill cancer cell. Okay, so that is the use of radon. Eh? Okay, so uh, that's all. That's all for uh, group 18 elements, okay? And you need to know uh, the applications. Uh, 